Alright, so next week, please just be sitting there with the corner while you're standing. My name is Nina. I'm 22. My boyfriend and I were in the car. I got into an argument with him and I told him to get out the car. He got upset. He took my phone. So after that, I just started, you know, like driving after him because I was the one that was driving. And I pretty much um, was trying to run my boyfriend over with my car because he had my phone. And the police came. I got into an argument with my boyfriend, and he just like snatched my phone out my lap. So I just started driving after him. And he's going through like little alleys and stuff, so I'm trying to follow him. I ended up um, hitting a curve, so my car ended up getting a flat tire. So then that's when I started running after him. And then that's when the, the police, they, they see me running. They thought I was running um, away from them, but my intentions wasn't to run away. It was to get my phone. So then that's when he was just like, like, what's going on? I, I really was like upset. It was my car, the phone. And I'm just like, like, what did I do? And um, they pretty much arrested me. Basically, if an officer is asking you to stop, stand still, trying to approach you, to talk to you, and you decide to just completely ignore them and you take off running, then you can get obstruction of justice. I feel like my anger and like me not being able to control my emotions definitely played a part um, with me being here. And then I feel like I've just been doing so good. I'm about to graduate this semester. My degree is criminal justice. I actually, I go to school for criminal justice. So this is just like, it's just not it at all. I just want to do something that makes change. Maybe be like a FBI agent. But I can't be getting locked up if I'm supposed to be an FBI agent. Like, you're not going to accept that. You keep putting yourself in this position, but it's just going to, like, assume that you're, like, bad. I'm not even that type of person. I've just been in, like, bad predicaments. You think you're going to get out tonight? Hopefully, I have school, I have work. I actually work at a drug testing company. Mm -hmm. I don't like confined spaces. I don't like people having to tell me to leave out, come back in. I honestly, I feel like a little bit scared because I know like this is, I'm not about this life. I'm giving you a direct order to step out of the shop. This is just not a place to be, and I'm going to be honest. Like, I really don't feel like I would be able to, be able to survive like, in general population. I don't know if I'm getting out or not. We'll see, just depending, because I'm not going to be able to send the money because they have my phone, so I can't send it with my money. I have to get somebody else to have the money. Hey, step around the corner there to your left. There's a sink. Wash and dry your hands. Make sure they're nice and dry. I can't be having stuff like this on my record, and especially if I'm doing criminal justice. They're not going to let me apply, let me go into nowhere. They're not going to accept me nowhere. They see I got all of this on my record. Can I be an officer if I have a misdemeanor record? No. After a couple of years, after a couple years, you get dropped off. Uh, after you get expunged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I didn't do what I did, I just wouldn't be here anymore. So it's just like you either make a change or you don't and stay here. My plans to call my dad. Do your parents know this boyfriend? Yeah, they don't like him. <laughs> and I want to tell them at all, because it's like kind of embarrassing a little bit, especially to like the people you look up to, because they're just like, I don't know, like, dang, she's not on the right path. And I just want them to know, like, I am. This is just a little, little roundabout in the path. <laughs> but... But I need to get out of here. Are they paying the full bond or? Yeah, they they paid it. Um, not the full. They got a bond to me, so it was fifteen hundred. So they only had to pay one. My mom said that they put a donut on my car and they drove it to my mom's house. So my car is great. They didn't tow anything. So 
that's one good thing. So I'm definitely happy to be leaving. Um, I'm not excited about court. <laughs> Because um, I do want to get it dismissed, but I don't think that's going to happen. Then Lopez, what did you leave? Yeah. 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 I'm just exhausted. I was very nervous about the situation, but I feel relieved now. I definitely feel like this was a learning experience. So I'm graduating from Norfolk State this semester, and I go to school for criminal justice, so I will never be here again. I'm just gonna The officer told me, he said, if I learned how to control my emotions, then I probably wouldn't be here. So I definitely want to learn from this. What about your boyfriend? Are you guys going to stay together, do you think? Or? Um, probably not. You keep hoping for things to change, and it's not. You're just going to keep hoping forever, and that's just not a, a good way to live. We're not going to see you here again? No, never. I just want to move on.